Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on corresponding angles on parallel lines. Now we have corresponding angles if we have two parallel lines and we've got a line that connects those two and we have a sort of F shape. So if I draw an F like this, you can see the capital letter F, then basically this angle is going to be the same as this angle. And the way I like to sort of spot these is if you imagine putting your two fingers on this angle here, then if you shift your hand without adjusting the angle from one parallel line to the other, can you see that that angle is not going to change because my fingers are staying still. It's only my hand that's moving. So we can see those angles are going to be the same. And we say, if we need to justify our angle, in an exam, that corresponding angles are equal. They're sometimes called F angles because of this F shape, but you should never write that in an exam. So let's apply that to these problems here. Well, A is relatively easy because we can just directly use this rule. If we put our hand on the 100 and we slide our hand like this, we can see that's also going to be 100 degrees there. So X is 100. Now with B, we've got two steps here. Can you see we've got this 110 degrees here? Now if I shift my hand from one parallel line to the other like this, can you see that that angle is also going to be 110? And a kind of common sense check is just to check if your angle remains obtuse or remains acute. This is an obtuse angle. We can see it's more than 90. This is also more than 90, so it's probably going to be right. And then at this point, we need to find why. Well, notice we've got angles on a straight line. So the angles around that point on that straight line need to add to 180. So y is just 180 minus that 110, and that is equal to 70 degrees.